After eating and navigating our way through the crazy streets of Delhi, we hopped on a train to Agra to visit one of the seven wonders of the world, the incredible Taj Mahal. It's an architectural and engineering feat that is steeped with history and we just can't wait to explore it. But first, our day starts with a cold 5am wake up to beat the crowds. Good morning! <laughs> We're in Agra and as you can see it's quite dark and that's because it's 6am and we're about to do the main thing that everyone comes to Agra to do which is the Taj Mahal Yay. and we're I'm really so excited, excited. Um, so the sun hasn't risen yet so that's what we're hoping to see at sunrise it's so cold yeah it's freezing <laughs> it's got to be less than 10 degrees mm -hmm. But yeah, we've got our tickets. We're gonna make the short walk up because our hostel is only about 15 minutes from the complex, so that's good. Great start. We got halfway there and realized we forgot the passport, which we need this ID to get in. So, heading back. <laughs> We're in the queue, which is going surprisingly fast. And then we just need to do a security check, but we've got barely anything with us, so it should be quick too. Okay, we made it in. Security check was quick. They put you into different lines for men and women, pat you down, scan your bag, and you're not meant to bring anything other than your phone, a camera, and any keys or a wallet, they anything else. It's useless about throwing stuff away, so just make sure you've got the bare essentials. Yeah, you're not allowed microphones or any like accessories like that. But, wow, every, every corner we turn, we're just waiting to see a glimpse of it. We haven't seen it yet, but... Good <laughs> It's over there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But. Look at this entrance. We thought it was going to be so foggy, and there it is, in full view. It's quieter than we expected. Definitely. I think, as, I don't know, we were saying last night, do you think it's going to be underwhelming or overwhelming? And I think I am overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets more and more amazing the closer you get to it. Yeah. It's just wow. But the sky looks insane, you've got all these like orange, pink clouds. I, just gives the place a nice misty feel. I think that's what looks really pretty. It's crazy. This was built 400 years ago, but it looks, in our opinion, quite modern. It's been built with marble, white marble, and a lot of the different materials and things inside have actually been brought in from other countries. That's what our hostel owner was telling us. And it's surrounded by the most beautiful grounds. How is this 400 years old? I can't it looks like it modern. was built a few years ago. Like yeah. it's so clean and modern, obviously extremely well looked after. Yeah. Uh, so it was built by the Mughal Emperor at the time, Shah Jahan, and it's actually a mausoleum, so it was built for his wife after she died and she got buried there. It cost him 32 million rupees <clears throat> to build, which converted today is about 320,000 British pounds, I think. It seems like an absolute bargain, doesn't it? But obviously <laughs> it was 400 years ago, so that's probably billions of pounds today. Um, so our ticket does include entry to the mausoleum. You pay a little bit extra for that. So we'll go in and see what it's like inside. <laughs> I think they've actually painted the pools blue to make it look more blue from afar. Yeah. I always thought it was just how pristine blue the water was, but... <laughs> It's a lie! Third biggest con known to man. <laughs> so we're just going into the mausoleum, see what it's like inside. You like a smith? <laughs> Wow. 
So we've just come out of the mausoleum. That was interesting. Yeah. It's kind of creepy inside because there was a guy going, uh, wailing. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Sounded like Timberland in the songs. <laughs> right, concentrate. This is a serious informational vlog. Right, so we just come out of the mausoleum. You couldn't film in there at all. Yeah, it's just got the tomb inside. Like, there's a tomb in the middle and then a tomb just off centre. The middle is where she lies. Just off centre is his grave. He wants to be buried next to her um, when he passed, so... Yeah, it's got a, a really peaceful but also kind of eerie vibe. Yeah. Um, inside, like, the walls are so intricate. The designs, like, yeah. So much love and money has been poured into this mausoleum. It's... Mm. Crazy. And then as you come out, you're just on this platform with really nice views in the background, but it is a bit foggy today. Yeah, so. it's definitely foggy. The Taj Mahal took 20 years to build and 20,000 people worked on it. 1,000 elephants were used to transport the materials to Agra to build it. And Hannah was talking before about the perfect symmetry of it. It's, it's like the same from every angle, or the same from each side. Um, but the one thing that breaks the perfect symmetry is Shah Jahan's coffin or tomb inside, because it's just off center. When we'd done the food tour in Delhi, our guide was telling us about Shah Jahan uh, and a number of the Mughal emperors and his wife, that this was dedicated to, was actually really instrumental during his rule. Mm -hmm. So yeah. she was really respected by the people. She not only gave him 13 or 14 children, which is a feat in itself, <laughs> she, um, she was very much his advisor and, yeah, very intelligent woman and very admired, I think. Well, yeah. you can see just how admired. Uh, we've got about 45 minutes left in here, so you're only allowed to stay in here for three hours. Plenty of time, by the way. Yeah. I think you can get fined quite a lot of money if you overstay. But that pigeon doesn't look well. It's a lot busier than when we got here, for sure. Like double the amount of people. So if you're wondering if it's worth coming for sunrise, it definitely is, just for the yeah. peacefulness. Of it. This has been a really nice experience and it's kind of surprised us a little bit. I thought it was going to be like overwhelming in terms of the amount of people. Yeah. But we've just waited like 30 seconds to get the photo at like the most famous spot to get a photo. Considering that gate in Bali with the famous reflection photo, you have to wait like an hour at least <laughs> in a queue for that. Which we didn't do by the way, but I know some people have. Um, and yet, we're here at one of the seven wonders of the world and waited like 30 seconds to get a photo. Yeah. It's a super touristy place, but it doesn't have that like touristic vibe. Yeah. It really feels relaxed and like people are nice here, so I don't know. It's so worth a visit. It's really not expensive at all. Like £13. Yeah, £13 each. Yeah, so worth it. So for our last 20 minutes or so in here, we're just going to stroll around the gardens and then we're going to go get some breakfast at a cafe near our hostel and then chill for the rest of the day because we're quite tired. Delhi absolutely took it out of us. So we're back in the hostel now and the plan for this afternoon was to go and see the Agra Fort but we're just so tired. Um, we're just feeling knackered. We haven't had any rest since we basically arrived in Delhi which was super full on so... I think we just got back today and we were like, oh my God, let's yeah. just take the afternoon to relax. We just need to kind of chill yeah. for a couple of hours and just like refresh before, yeah, before we move on, which is what we're doing tomorrow. So we've got quite an early start. We're going to get the train to Jaipur. Hope it doesn't disappoint that we're not going to Agra for. For what we wanted to see in our itinerary and how long we've got here, Agra was always going to be a very short stop 